Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Fallout 4 together as Uris the Pacifist. In the last episode we finally finished um, looting Hubris comics, or comics and toys. I found this very stylish uh, silver shroud outfit, which I think we're going to keep. I like the looks of it very much, plus it really fits with our um, You'd Better Surrender um, spray and prey weapon. And now we're going to um, have a look at Nick Valentine. We're playing this modded now, Fallout 4. It said in the last episode we are using a the um, permanent pacification mod and the uh, new dialogue mod. Oh, here's a, a tank or something. Maybe we can get... Blue. We're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. Really? That's interesting. Stay... oh, stay back. That's awfully nice. What's that? Sworn? Hmm. It's very misty. Can't really see what's going on. Boston Common. All right then. What's that though? One of one of you guys in the comments said I should stay far away from Swan's Pond. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm going to save. I'm going to drink that water. Silver shroud radio signal. What's that thing moving over there? Oh yes, that is moving. What the hell? It looks like a troll from Witcher 2. I've been detected. Hello! What is this? Is this a fish? It must have been a park a long time ago. Maybe we can. Out of here? I don't think we'd make pretty ghouls. I'd make a very pretty ghoul. Oh, this is all very. Oh, what are you? Swan or what? Uh, gone. Cool. Just like that. <laughs> Hey, you hit Piper! Okay, that didn't go too well. Maybe I should avoid this guy or come back with a power armor. I'm just going to leave Swan in his pond. Why not? Bolliston Club. Must be this here. This building. Yeah, it's open. I'm not going to go in there. I, I want to find Nick Valentine. And really... Oh! Where are you? Dead Raider or Dead Saddler? Stay back. Well, it's written all around it. If you still die... Uh, this has a name, this guy. Mikhail. Torn. for the taking. A torn letter. Let's have a look. Into the torn letter. Um, you know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night, stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go into the common. Um, oh. So this person didn't heed the warning it got. We are going to heed the warning, but mainly because I have the magical power of um, reloading. Otherwise, I would be as dead as the corpse over there. Oh, what are you? 
at journey's end follow freedom's lantern what what uh, follow the freedom tail or freedom trail seven and a some sort of code what are you welcome patriot to boston common the start of the freedom trail feast your ears and learn more about the historic freedom trail and learn the history of boston common um you're a tour guide you're a tour guide error response not recognized welcome patriot to boston common the all right <laughs> I want to I want to see what he has to say. I'm interested in the history of this place. I'm interested in the history of this place. Let us go back hundreds of years. It is the year 1775 for 7 years thousands of British soldiers have camped on this very soil in their orderly rows of tents led by General Thomas Gage. They seek to quell the growing tide of revolution the night of April 17th. The officers are assembled, General Gage. Four days prior, I received word from the Earl of Dartmouth. We have our orders. Lieutenant Colonel Smith, gather 21 companies of our best men and carry them with the utmost expedition and secrecy to Concord. Once there, you will seize and destroy all artillery, ammunition, provisions, tents, small arms, and all military stores. But what of the columns, General? Take care that the soldiers do not plunder the inhabitants or hurt private property. But we can and must defang them. So, near midnight, Colonel Smith marched with 700 redcoats to face brave American patriots in the Battle of Lexington and Concord, and thus the Revolutionary War began. Continue on the trail to walk through more of our great city's history. It's interesting that this thing is still intact. Welcome, patriot, Go on. to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Let's see what he says when I say that. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North church, the old state house, bunker, hill, and many more. Interesting. Um, Alright, so this is the starting point of the Freedom Trail, right? At journey's end, follow Freedom's Lantern. Yeah, this is some sort of a uh, puzzle. I'm not sure that we want to solve the puzzle at the moment, though. I'd rather see what's up with Nick Valentine. I don't really like that it's so um, bright. Can be seen very easily by um, potential harm doers. Hard to believe I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic. Yeah, yeah, get used to it. Oh, Nuka Cherry, Nuka Cola. Going to take that. Um, oh, six, five. So it must must be this this building where Nick Valentine vanished. All right then, let's have a look. Oh, bottle caps. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, here. Um, so the sent into the metro. I don't have that many. Um, bullets with me. I wonder if I shouldn't go and restock somewhere. 
How much money do I have? Basically nothing. I'm rather poor. <laughs> Alright then, I won't do that. Let's see what awaits in the Park Street station. Hmm. It's impressive architecture. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. All right. So the detective must be locked up somewhere. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that didn't work. Uh uh uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, uh. I know I saw something. Easy now. Hands up. Don't move. Shit. <laughs> it's working rather well. I'd say a lot of the guys that I haven't pacified are also running away. I wonder if that mod is not working correctly. I'm hidden again now. Going to quick save. So there are two of you. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Piper. I'm just going to wait until I can repacify them. So these are gangsters, right? They look like 1920s guys. Very interesting. What's that, a phone booth? Public phone booth? What do you want from me? So I've been detected. I heard you. Let's just stay calm. Who are you? <coughs> hey, are you a ghoul? Yeah, that's a ghoul. And hey, I mean. It's fine by me if they all get just pacified, even if the pacifying attempt fails. What do you want from me? I just hope I don't have to kill anyone to complete a quest. We can do this the easy way. What do you want from me? Don't shoot me. All right, we've just four trigger men in here, and two of them are mysteriously not hostile to me. Hmm. What's that for? Uh, I wonder if that's the effect of the mod or something else. I wonder if maybe the mod is messing this up. In any case, I'm going to take what I can because I'm, I'm crazy that way. Yeah, I'm taking a coffee, taking all of it because why not? Cap stash, coffee cup. I need everything. Um, oh, and there's a terminal. And a door. Maybe I can open that. Nope. Holy cow. No. Got it. Great. Let's see what we have in here. Piper liked that I picked this lock. <laughs> Purified water, more caps, iguana bits, material grade duct tape. That's not an. Oh yeah, I was just in the. I was just saying it's not an amazing stash, but uh, that's a safe in here. All right, let's do that. Bit more. Yeah, very nice. That's it. 
And the idiots won't trigger it. Yeah, some point forty five rounds. This is what we need for our for our big gun over here. The more I get for this weapon, the better. Because if I have to shoot, I'd rather I'd rather shoot with that gun. I'd have the ten millimeter gun at home. Um, let's just save. Let's see what this military uh, this terminal has to say. So well, we can purchase tickets. Terminal vending functions have been shut down. All right. Notice terminal shut down. Purchasing of subway tokens for the section station will automatically cease on the second of November. No, the eleventh of February. This is uh, American. Uh, the American form of spelling a date. 11th February 77 to coincide with the station closing any questions should be addressed to the station manager or Voltec representative before your employment termination date. Again Park Street terminals will cease to validate token dispensation after the state. Previously issued tokens remain usable at all other Boston subway and monorail service platforms. Thank you. Why why Voltec? Eleven two Is Waltech involved in this thing here somehow? Employee notice. Dear employee ID, I regret to inform you that your station, Park Street, will be closing due to a purchase agreement with Waltech Corporation. As such, we will be going through our records and re redistributing our many valued employees to other stations and departments. The automated system should identify your new location. You have re relocated to, employee terminated. Thank you, and we look forward to many more years working with you. Yeah, it's real. That adds a real personal touch to being made redundant. <laughs> so, Waltech bought this uh, subway station, it seems. Hey there. Oi. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that uh, the mod is screwing this up somehow. Nice being on the move again. Fewer paper cuts than back home. These are all <coughs> friendly guys. I wonder if it should be that way. Makes no matter. They yeah. are they are friendly. I'm not going to to pick a fight. I'm a pacifist. If I can go through the uh, through the wasteland in that fashion, why not? So what are these restrooms? All right then. Some beer, which we're going to take. Some I need gasoline. To up some caps for the memory den. Go back to that time on the south side after the big score. Yeah. Memory den. An enamel bucket. Maybe one of these guys was sitting in there. No. And break some cleaner. A metal bucket. There's nothing in here that. We Holy cow! A grenade! Must have. Uh, um, yeah, here's the trap. <laughs> might have might have hurt someone. I wonder why they do that. What's, what's in here? They need to be trapped. Hmm. Ah, oh, makes no matter. Just a simple oversight. So there's nothing in that direction. Maybe we have to go into the other direction then. It's going down. Maybe Water was trying to buy this to build another vault. That's bad over here. Haven't been hurt though, so I don't need to sleep. We can go down here. New stands. Tin cans. Teddy bear. I guess I'm going to end it here on a, a bit of a cliffhanger. 
in the next episode we're going to go further down. Oh, we can disarm this. Yeah, it must have been a trap here. Next episode we're going to go further down and find out what's what's really going on with uh, the missing detective and all that. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.